In this video, I want to take you through some of my most recent pickups from the charity shops to resell on eBay. If you're into your clothes, your shoes, your retro toys, your gaming, you're going to be all over this one. And I also want to run you through some of the sales I've had since my last video. So let's get on with it. Hey guys, Ian the Master of Pieces here and in today's video I've got tons of stuff that I've picked up from the charity shop to resell on eBay for profit. It's all down here, right in front of me, it keeps catching my eye. Um, there's loads of it, there's retro stuff, nostalgia stuff, plenty of variety and stuff you could be looking out for in the charity shops as well. But I was in a couple of minds whether to actually do this video because I know recently I have been doing a lot of charity shop pickups. But honestly, this is where I am finding all of my stock at, at the minute. I actually had a message on my Instagram account, right? Someone asked, they said, Ian, it would be great if I could do a video that shows me going to a boot sale and what my strategy would be, what I look for, the stuff I'd pick up, how much I'd pay. But you know, I just don't fancy getting up stupid o'clock on a Sunday morning competing against all the other resellers trying to pick up those bargains. And you know what? I am having luck in the charity shops. I'm picking stuff up. I'm listing it quickly. I'm selling it quickly. And I'm just repeating it. And I'm not going to break that cycle. I mean, if I do fancy mixing it up, a bit of variety, maybe I will hit the boot sales. But yeah, there's still plenty of stuff out there in the charity shops to find to resell. That's what I'm finding at the minute. But in this video as well, I also want to show you some of the sales I've had since my last video. But I want to highlight that I do sell a lot of variety. There's a lot of random stuff in there, stuff of different price points, some expensive stuff, and some cheaper stuff. But yeah, you'll see exactly whenever we get into it. Actually, let's just get on with it now. Let's see some sales. Let's have a look what's up here. In this box, I keep loads of big plasticky toys, and we sold this Bob the Builder digger here. Only paid, what, a pound in the charity shop? Sold for five pounds plus postage. Not a massive markup, but it's one of those lower price items that has only been listed for about two weeks. So we yeah, had nice quick turnaround, good bit of traffic on the eBay store, hopefully a nice bit of positive feedback too. Let's have a little delve in this bag. In here, I picked up a massive PlayStation 3 bundle. I am gonna keep the PlayStation console, but some of these games I am just gonna sell on. And I sold this one today. This is Yakuza 3. It's, got, it's a two disc version, so it has got the soundtrack in it. That one sold for 10 pounds plus postage. Now let's hit the shoe bag, and I'm glad a pair of shoes sold today because this is overflowing. I could do with this being trimmed down a little bit. But I'm pleased to have sold these. These are a pair of Puma suede shoes. Cool pink laces in there, but otherwise just a, a nice neutral gray color. They are size UK eights. Loads of tread on the bottom. They have gone on the global shipping program to Italy for 13 pounds plus postage. Right now, let's reach up to the top for this one because we've sold another set of KitchenAid food mixer accessories. And what we've got here is a box of shredders, slicers, dicers, whatever they are. I paid five pounds a box. They're brand new old stock. And this box is sold for 24 pounds 50 plus postage. Happy with that. Let's get this big box down. This sale was completely unexpected. So we went to the charity shop the other day and my son was rummaging around the toys and found this slinky dog hairband. And he just stuck it on. He was he was like going around the charity shop with it on. So we got to the till and I ended up just buying it for him. It is from Disney Parks. Slinky dog off of Toy Story. We paid 50p. That has sold for £28.50 plus postage. That is madness. And now onto some electronics. I've got a bag here which has got a few small electronic goods in. I took an absolute punt on these, right? Because they were so cheap in the charity shop. I have sold a pair of Babyliss hair straighteners. These larger black ones have got a bit of a floral pattern on there. And I've also bundled in a pair of purple Babyliss hair straighteners. Those are smaller, those are a travel set. Plugged them in when I got home. Both of them were working, tested them, not on my own hair mind. Um, and yeah, they sold for 10 pounds plus postage. Not bad considering I paid a pound 50 each. 
And we have sold two Wombos. The guy with the red hat and the scarf, his name is Orinoco. And on the left there, that is Bungo. And these sold for £18 plus postage. They're from 1998, so they are pretty old. They're nice size, they're about 10 inches tall. But the reason I bundled these together is because Bungo should come with a check shirt. And obviously that is missing. He's got his hat on though. See that cool little grey hat there? So Orinoco was the one carrying the most value in this bundle. Bungo was the cheaper one. So I'm pretty chuffed with that. £18 plus postage. A Peppa Pig camper van with tons of figures inside. I think it's got all the main ones in there. And you've also got that little dude there, the rabbit driving that little... What's that? A Triceratops. £9 plus postage. And back over to our electronics bag. In here, I picked up this Panasonic Walkman. I put some batteries in there, the light turned on but nothing inside kind of moved. There was a lot of whirring, but not much spinning. So that one, spares and repairs, six pounds plus postage. Now down to the wrestling figures. And we sold these two here. This pair of Dean Ambrose figures went for six pounds plus postage. And I've already got this one out ready to go. It's the Great American Bash WWE DVD from 2003. Got this because it was three for a pound. Sold for five pounds plus postage. Scooby Dooby Doo! Nine pounds plus postage. Now this one didn't hang around at all. We have sold this Jan Van Hasteren 1500 Pisa. It's called Camping Chaos. The box is absolutely ragged. Very tatty. Even so, £9.50 plus postage. Now this next one I was hoping for a lot more, but it's had very little interest. Someone made an offer today, £4 plus postage, and I accepted it. I, I, this, this has been hanging around since Christmas time. I don't want it hanging around any longer. It's the Michaelmas Murders. It's a CD audiobook. Right, I'm just going to butt in there because I really want to take you through some of these bits I've picked up recently from the charity shop. And the first item, a little bit random. If you're a bit squeamish and don't really like clowns, I would suggest turning away now. I've warned you because I picked up this dude here. Yeah, he's pretty freaky. I, I don't know what it is about him. I Yeah, I, I don't know if I like him too much. But I only paid £3.50. It's pretty old, but I can't find any identifiers on him. There's no labels on there, no make, no date. But he does have a little key in the back there, which when you spin it, he does a little dance and plays that creepy little tune. Now, some, little, some things like this do go for decent money, and I need to do a bit more research into this one. But for £3.50, I was going to give it a crack. Now... He's been banned from the house. He's allowed nowhere near in there. So he's been living out in the garage. And yeah, nothing seems to be going wrong at the minute out here. But yeah, I'd be pleased to see him gone, if I'm honest. Yeah, <laughs> don't know about that. Right, on to the next pieces. I've been doing pretty well with shoes at the minute. So I picked up three pairs. First up, Mountain Warehouse. Good, solid brand to look out for. UK size five, so nice ladies fit. These are a real solid pair of walking boots. I've given them a bit of a scrub with a toothbrush, so they've come up really well. Five quid, that should be going into about £25 plus postage for those. So nice little pick up there. In the same charity shop, again, UK size five, I found this really cool pair of Adidas Stan Smiths. And these ones are authentic. I have been caught out before with Stan Smiths that are fake, but these ones are authentic. Pretty reasonable condition. There's a little scratch at the um, bottom there. What you've got to look out for is whether some of this lettering is cracked or peeling. Those are both in really good condition. Paid a fiver, resale value, 20 to 25 pounds plus postage. But these are going nowhere because my wife is a size five and loves them. So. She's having them. Tough luck. <laughs> Next up, these are a cracking pair of shoe. And I had to pay up for them. These are a pair of Nike Dunks. And to be honest, I didn't realise they were Nike Dunks until I got home and did a bit more research. But I just really love them. They're size UK 7s. Or are they 7.5? They are UK 7s. So yeah, pretty small size. But even so, they're in solid condition. A little bit of wear around, around the bottom, so they're not brand new now they, they but they they look great don't they now resale value i haven't been able to find a pair of just plain white ones but i'm, I'm going to be aiming for 50 pounds plus postage for them 
some of the Nike Dunks you see on eBay, they go for a lot, lot more. But like I said, I can't find a pair. And usually these, the ones that go for a bit more, I've got the high backs on. I paid £15 for them. Now, at the time, I thought it was it was a mistake. It was from the same shop as the other shoes, so I thought they'd be a fiver. Missed the label, 15 quid, but he was already putting them through the tail, so I thought, let's go for it. Glad I did. Next up, hey, look, I, I have been finding a few PlayStation and Xbox games. Some of the charity shops I go to are a bit slim pickings, and when, when it gets like that, I do have a rummage through some of the media, and I picked up six titles there. If you're interested, you can have a read through in there. Pause it, have a read through. I paid a pound each. Yeah, most of them are three or four pounds plus postage games, but that one's a good one. Street Fighter X, Street Fighter, and Tekken, Xbox 360. That's about a tenner. And those Tony Hawk Underground games, bundle them together, they'll be a tenner as well. So yeah, I am picking up a bit of media because it does usually sell pretty quick. Now this is the type of stuff I pick up all the time. You know that I love my um, toys and I do love to have a rummage around the like toy bins. And I found this old school Tonka truck. You can see it says Tonka there. Um, it's not in the best condition. It's a few scratches, missing the stickers there. I paid 60 pence for that one and that should go for 14 or 15 pounds plus postage. Should come with a little truck on the back, doesn't have it. But if I catch the light right, you can see they've got little Tonka stamps on the wheels. Really, really cool. Nice bit of detailing, good quality toy. Yeah, good solid seller. And in another box, right, this was a bit of a bargain. I found loads of these resin Disney Mickey Mouse Clubhouse figures. You've got Pete there. Look at Donald there. He's not an happy boy. You've got Donald. I've got I've got tons of them. I've got a Mickey. I've got, um, who's that? Daisy. Got a mini. I've got the whole set. I picked up 12 figures for six quid, so 50 pence each. I will be looking to get about £30 plus postage on those. So it's always worth having a rummage around those toy bins. 20, 30, 40 pence. You never know what you're going to find. And these ones, I just couldn't believe were still on the shelf when I, when I went into this charity shop. I found some old school micro machine sets. This is the first one here. It's called the Travel City. It's not 100% complete. The actual set is, but I'm missing that little black aeroplane in there, which is such a shame. Now, I... For the, this costs a pound and I would have paid that just for the box. You see loads of these up on eBay. Just the set goes for about 10 or 11 pounds plus postage. I'm going to try and get something similar to that because it has got the bit missing. But I've got the box. And this one is an absolute beauty. Check this one out. How retro is that? I just love those colours, how it all mixes in. This is Highways and Byways Wildcat Canyon. This again does have a couple of pieces missing, which isn't a surprise because it was on the shelf with that open like that. So I'm lucky to have most of the bits in there. Now there aren't too many up on eBay, um, particularly with the box. There is one with the box, £60 plus postage, but that is complete. I'm going to try for £40 maybe. Let's see. I'll probably do a bit more research, but for a pound, I was always picking that up. Next up, again, I was always picking this up as well. This is from a different charity shop, a charity shop I never bother with because it's full of tat, but went in there just on the off chance and I found this big sweet tub full of monsters in my pockets. Look at them. Talk about retro, it's of neon colours again, isn't it? The greens, the oranges, yellows, just really, really cool. I had tons of these growing up and I'm sure a lot of you guys out there watching did too. And the best thing about it, cost a pound that whole jar cost a pound now i've checked through them and yeah there aren't any particularly rare ones some of the rare ones individually go for a nice amount of money but just the volume of them there that'll probably go 15 pounds plus postage not bad for a pound next up yeah i picked up a few bits of clothing first up i always look out for welsh rugby shirts uh, particularly these nice match day rugby shirts here key thing to check is all the lettering complete? Is it peeling, bubbling, cracking? I haven't got that on here. This has still got the kind of sticky texture on the bottom and the top there. It is a UK size small, but that really doesn't, doesn't put me off with rugby jerseys because this is a good fit for a man or a woman, particularly on a Six Nations day. The city will be red. What did I pay? Four pounds? Four pounds fifty? That'll go for about 15 pounds plus postage, particularly February, March time with the Six Nations coming up. And I think you've always got to look out for your local football team's stuff in charity shops as well. And being based in Cardiff, you do often see Cardiff City stuff. And I found this nice Adidas zip-up jacket. It has got a printed logo, but again, it's in pretty good condition. I paid £4. 
a, a zip up jacket like this will go for about 30 pounds plus postage so really really chuck for that and this one is a pretty decent size this one is uk size medium so yeah a lot better size but the final bit that i want to leave you with just for my pickups was this and if you ever see stuff like that like this in the charity shop you can't leave it behind I found this Optimus Prime Transformer. He's from the Revenge of the Fallen series. I paid a pound 50. And you can tell he's good quality because he's got a nice bit of intricate detailing. He's a good weight. You know, it's not just a big bl blob of plastic. There's lots of pieces going on. But what that does mean is you often do find pieces missing because they do come away. So he's missing a few little flaps there. He's missing one of the doors. But look how the light catches his eyes there. He's got a little see-through bit at the back that makes him shine. Pound 50, I'm always picking up that. Now, Optimus Prime is a popular character. These are widely produced and everyone's going to try and buy an Optimus Prime whenever they come out, if they wanted one. So not a big resale value for this, 10 to 11 pounds plus postage maybe. But this one is staying here. He's going on my shelf. I've got the perfect spot for him, actually. He can go up there. Superb. Really, really love that pickup. So that's what I've been picking up from the charity shop. A lot of this stuff is listed already. I do have a few more bags over there of quite similar stuff or stuff that you have seen me sell lots of before. So enough of that. Let's get on with a few more sales. And on the chair here, we have got three more Wombles. We've got Uncle Bulgaria, Tobermory, and Alderney. Now, I bundled these three together. They're not as big as the Orinoco and Bungo, which we saw earlier. They're by Posh Paws. And this Uncle Bulgaria should come with a little shawl as well, which obviously he doesn't. Also, as someone's written their name, Glyn, on, on, on the label. Even so, those three together went for £16 plus postage. And I've sold this Tobin Heath sticker. This is from the 2011 World Cup, sticker number 189. And this is Tobin Heath's rookie sticker. Now I have prices quite low because there is a bit of a crease that runs along there. And the buyer made me an offer. But what I did was I counted it for the same amount, but added a little message to say, can you check the pictures and the description to make sure you're happy with that crease? They were happy with it. So we sold it for £12.50 plus postage. And that's going on the global shipping program over to America. In the shoe bag we go. And we sold this pair of Mountain Warehouse Iso Dry walking boots they're uk size seven really good condition nice bit of pink on there just to give it a bit of character these ones went for 16 pounds plus postage and yep this one never hangs around long we have got a grommet mug when you put hot water in him the nose changes color he went for 12 pounds plus postage and lurking in this box we have got Zebedee off of the Magic Roundabout. This one's from 2004. Paid a couple of quid in the charity shop. He's gone for £12.50 plus postage. And into this box we go. I am looking for... It's not actually Actua Soccer. It is a set of Tomb Raider games. We've got Tomb Raider 1, Tomb Raider 3 and Tomb Raider The Last Revelation. All in the same box. It's in pretty poor condition. And that's why it only went for £11 plus postage. And we have sold another Womble. There he is up there. We have sold another Bungo. And this one does have his jacket on. And this one went for £11.50 plus postage. There can't be too many more left in there. Now this was a great sale. I was actually tempted to take this one down off my eBay store. Um, I've sold this Happy Birthday Wind Up Disney Mickey Mouse Snow Globe. It's got the key in the back there, so you spin it and it plays a tune, but it is in horrific condition. It's only got two of the little studs on the bottom, that's why it sits like that. Minnie is all over the shop. She is absolutely ruined. But even so, that went for £30 all in. I only paid a pound fifty or two quid, something like that, because because of the damage on it. So I will take that. Next up, we've got a big bag of old school Lego Technic. In here, I have weighed it. There's a, just over eight hundred and fifty grams. You've got lots of different cogs, axles, rods, wheels. There might be a motor in there, which I haven't tested. Now I was going to split that down and sell off bits individually. I just 
well, just couldn't be bothered really. I paid two pounds for it, and that sold today for just under 30 pounds all in. And a couple more PlayStation 3 games have sold. First up, we have got this version of Tomb Raider. This is the Tomb Raider Survival Edition for PlayStation 3. It's not complete. There are a few little inserts missing. So that one went for £11 all in. And while we're in the same bag, I sold this one here. This is Monster Hunter Portable HD version. Yeah, it is all in a foreign language. And that one went for £15 all in. I'm glad to have shifted this next one. It's big, it's bulky, it's low value. Let's get it straight out the door. What you got here are loads of McDonald's toys. They are from Adventure Time. I think there's just over 20 in there and that has only gone for £7.50 plus postage. But this next one, if I'm being honest with you, I am a bit disappointed to, to uh, let him go. We have got an old school Gromit Teddy. He is super cute, in really good condition. You can see all of his eyes there. No, there's no scratches or scrapes. Really, really neat teddy, that. And he's gone for £12.50 plus postage. Now, it's safe to say these haven't been shifting as quickly as I thought they would be. But one of them has sold today. We'll just find it. Is it that one? Is that Mystique? It is. Mystique has sold for £4 plus postage. And the final cell I want to show you is in this bag here. It's this teeny tiny transformer. He's only three inches big, right? His name is Roadbuster. It, it is pretty rare, but someone paid £25 all in for that. Absolutely wild. But it does go and show if you've got a good product, good theme, it's collectible, and there aren't too many around on eBay, you can charge whatever you want for it, really. And, and you know, you might have to take an offer, but yeah, you can get some really good prices for some of the strangest things. Really neat. So guys, if you enjoyed that video, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and I'll catch up with you in the next one. See you soon, guys. Bye-bye. Thanks ever so much for watching the video and I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. For those new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who's already subscribed. I'll see you in the next one.